are all these before we talk about how creepy the hipster hamburger <laughs> yeah, is. Yeah, it's kind of bizarre, right? Kind of bizarre. Why are all three big fast food companies bringing back mascots? What's the thinking? Well, it's funny. They all did it in May, and I think the timing is a little bit coincidental, but they basically all three come to the same solution for the same problems that the fast food industry is facing as a whole. Which and what's is, the problem? People just aren't eating it as much anymore. Um, part of that is the, the move towards healthier food, organic, that sure. sort of thing. But also part of it is when we do eat burgers, or do eat fried chicken. Um, people are tending to gravitate towards more gourmet stuff. You know, in New York, there's Shake Shack, that sort of thing, and they're really feeling the pinch. So Shake Shack, obviously, doing extremely well. Chipotle doing extremely well. Right. But I haven't noticed a singing and you know dancing French fry from Shake Shack. It's curious that the strategy was, oh, bring back the mascot. Well, that's because they're going after millennials, basically, people 18 to 34 or so. And people remember these and have this sort of nostalgia for Hamburglar or Colonel Sanders, especially. Um, and the king, I was always sort of weirded out by. Um, and he's only, <laughs> he's only been gone for a few years. Uh, but Burger King brought him back, and uh, they put him in the Belmont Stakes behind American Pharaoh's trainer. I saw that. Yeah, they paid a bunch of money for that. Uh, some so. serious placement. I think we have a nice visual explaining us sort of the timeline of when these favorite food mascots uh, have come and gone. I mean, it, they, they weren't really around since the 1980s. Exactly. Well, Colonel Sanders, who was a real person, um, died in 1980. Um, they used him in various forms, like a cartoon type thing, uh, until 94. And then they just sort of got rid of him and moved away. And I talked to KFC, and they said that a lot of people nowadays don't even remember that he was a real person. Um, so they brought <laughs> him back. They got Daryl Hammond to play him. And they've just turned him into this like caricature of some sort of southern weirdo because they like to talk about how he once shot someone, he punched one of his clients because he's well, a lawyer. Well, that's extraordinary. That's really extraordinary and I'm struggling to figure out how that sort of uh, Hamburglar with the stubble meets up with new CEO Steve Easterbrook's image of a modern progressive burger company, but... I think that's just what they came up with. Yeah, we wish them well. <laughs>